Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polished Corner. Today I've got a couple of new items that I am trying out and one of them is um, Braves Diva Polish. So I'm really excited about trying this out. This is an indie brand of polish. Um, it's completely amazing. I just love it. It's really awesome. And um, I will link the information in the description box below if you want to check out um, Braves Diva Polish. And um, it's made by Tara. She's one of our group um, in our stamping class. And her polish is really cool. I'll also um, put in the description box below her, um, her Facebook group, Bleacher Creatures. Um, so there's like a bunch of pictures of her polish on that. And it's like a lot of fun too because we're like crazy. <laughs> That was pretty awesome. I'm also trying, trying for the first time this Moira Crystal Stone stamping set. Um, a couple of things that I noticed after I had um, been done working with this and I just wanted to bring your attention to. Um, it comes with like a little stamper, which you stamp and pick up stones with, which I'll show you in the video. Um, but I wouldn't use your regular um, stampers. Um, that you do your stamping with because the crystals it, if you're trying to get them up I've noticed they scratch the head of this so I wouldn't want you to use your regular stamping um, heads that you like because it the crystals could um, scratch it and then probably wouldn't pick up any any images really well that's what I'm guessing so anyways let me show you what I got and let's get started First, I'm going to add um, wave gel base gel to all the nails. Now I'm going to add Jazzy Tonight to all of my nails except for the ring finger. And now I'll add the second coat. Now I'm going to add a shiny no cling top coat. Jazzy tonight is such a pretty shimmery dark purple. I'm going to do this to all of my fingernails and we'll come back. Okay, now I on my ring finger, I'm going to use um, one of my Brave Diva polishes. Um, this one, the camera is not really picking it up really well. If I get close, it shifts from like a purple to blue to green. Um, and I thought it would look really good with. Um, this jazzy tonight because you know I I just can't be without my gel <laughs> nail polish um but I had to have this this is completely beautiful so the name of this is six four three double play and that is just packed with glitter and it just shifts so awesomely there's the purple and the blue and the there's a little flash of green in there even I love this stuff okay I have to wipe the tacky layer off of the gel um, base coat and the reason I used the gel base coat um she said her polishes were really pigmented so um use a nice you know base coat to kind of prevent nail staining. So I'm hoping my gel um, base coat will kind of prevent that. I, I haven't ever really had any staining with gel nail polish. I don't know if it's different or what. Um, but I did remove the tacky layer because that's super important when you're putting 
regular nail polish on top of a gel base coat. If you don't remove the sticky um, layer, it actually gets into your nail polish bottle and completely ruins it. Did that. Yes. Found that out the hard way. I'm thinking, why is my nail polish all disgusting? And then it hit me. <laughs> Uh, that's when I was experimenting with, gee, can you use regular nail polish in between the layers of gel? And um, yeah, the answer, yeah, let's just not go there. <laughs> um, so actually, this is the first time I've ever used this polish. And obviously, I'm not going to be able to cure it. I have to sit there and wait for it to dry, but that's okay. So, um, so I will just wait until it dries and we'll add some more layers to that. Okay, now I'm going in for the second coat. It builds up really nicely on the second coat. I was thinking, oh no, it's kind of sheer. And then I was thinking, well, maybe I should have put the purple underneath it. <laughs> but nope, it looks really good. Wow, that's really, really amazing. Okay, well, we'll wait for that coat to dry. Okay, I'm going to put one more coat on. I am not used to polishing with regular polish at all. This is an awesome polish. It has got so much glitter in it. It's really cool. But um, in trying to play with it and manipulate it like I do my gel, um, it's, it's drying too fast on me. So I made like a whole bunch of really weird holes in here, like dents or something like that. I don't know. Um, but, okay. <laughs> right, so now I'm going to let this dry overnight, and then tomorrow we will see what I'm going to do with it. Okay, so this has been drying overnight, so it's completely dry. So now for the next step. So what I'm going to be doing is I have this Moira crystal stone stamping set that I got, which is really, really cool. Um, I'm really excited to use this. And I know you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> so let me show you. It comes with a template and a little tray to, um, to catch loose stones. It comes with a stone picker upper, which is pretty good. And, um, a brush. I've only used, I haven't even used this really. I played with it for like a couple of minutes once. So you're getting first time user impressions. And it comes with a little um, thing of stones. I believe it said there was like 500 of these in there. And they're not anything, they're just like regular crystal stones. No AB, no color, no nothing. And it's just what you get with the kit. Um, I know these are not SS3s because I definitely know I have SS3s and these are bigger. Um, I don't know what my other size ones are. Um, so I'm guessing that these might be SS4s. I don't know. I'll purchase some SS4s, but it'll be like three weeks before I can compare it because I get my stones from China because you know what? They're on my nail polish. I don't mess with trying to get them off. I, you know, when they come off, they get thrown away. I'm not going to spend money on Swarovskis. These look just fine. You know, unless you put them up next to Swarovskis, they're good. And then it comes with this little stone picker upper stamping thingy. Um, It's flat. You know, like most stampers are, you know, like kind of domed or whatever. This is completely flat. Flat, flat, flat. That's what you need. Flat. So, all right, let's, let's check out this. All right, let me get you guys in nice and close. It's got a different, bunch of different patterns here. I'm going to work with this one right here. Um, these are, if you want, you know, full coverage, not in a row, full coverage in a row. If you want a V shape, if you want, um, 
know, curved shape, a little triangle, a diamond, some more curved shapes. I don't know what the difference is, but okay. Well, maybe there's more stones in them for like if you've got different size fingers. My fingers are like really small. So anyways, we're going to do this one right here. And what you do is you just take your little jar of stones and you just kind of sprinkle them in here and just kind of kind of keep playing with them until most of the time they just fall right in. You want their little backs to be to be um, in the hole. Whoops, one just went flying somewhere. You want their little backs to be in the hole so that the the nice part is facing up and actually it's really pretty simple to achieve. Look at that. A couple swipes and woo, we are ready to go. So you do want these to fit in there perfectly. I did test it out with my SS3s and there was like huge gaps between the stones. You don't want really big gaps between the stones. Oh, <laughs> we forgot this. Um, this is Moira Fixing Gel. That is a number. No, nope, this is just fixing gel. They have fixing gel too, in case you want like a little pot of it. Personally, I don't. I want a brush in my nail polish. So you just brush it on. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not fond of the pot whole the whole pot gel thing. Anyways, so we've got oh, this is fixing gel one. Okay, so we've got fixing gel one. I don't know why my my thing is all messed up. Anyway, so it's fixing gel one. And that's why I wanted to make sure that this was really, really dry. If your nail polish is not dry, which I found out when I first bought gel nail polish, I was playing with it. If it's not completely dry and you put gel nail polish on the top of it, it won't set ever. It will just keep mushing around. It'll never dry underneath there. It's really, really horrible. So, um, anyways, I don't really do that. I just use the darn gel nail polish. <laughs> Let's just go with it. All right, so now I'm going to put the fixing gel on my nail. It's supposed to be a little on the thick side. I think fixing gel too is thicker, so that may be a reason why it is, um, I don't know. There might be a reason why that it's in the little pot. Maybe those gels in the pot are a little bit thicker. I don't really know. This fixing gel might be a good alternative to doing those encapsulated designs. I bought some, um, what do you call it, builder gel to do that. And I'm really not fond of builder gel. I mean, not the one that I have because it's really, it's in a pot. It's really horrible. <laughs> you should see me trying to open the darn thing. Oh my gosh, what a frigging mess. All right, so step two is we've got our little guys right here. We're so cute. Okay, you want to push down really hard because you want to get them all because um, I didn't push down really hard and I didn't get them all. And see, look at that. I didn't get them all that time either. It's really not a good thing. And they're really hard to take off. I lost two of them and see they're crooked. All right. With my SS3s, they picked up right away. So now you got to pick these little guys off. I'm sure maybe I'll get the hang of it or something. I don't know. So picking those little guys off. I'm going to try putting this on my stamp or, head, or my um, lint roller to see if maybe, I don't know. Maybe it needs to be more tacky or something. I know there's a little guy stuck in there. So this is exactly what happens. <laughs> you know, it didn't happen in the video I saw when they were doing it. This did definitely not happen. <laughs> All right. So we'll try it again. You can also use this little pen to like pick up the little things and put them in little holes, but it kind of defeats the purpose of doing it quickly. But that's possible. If you get a little stubborn guy, you could do this. But when you try to go back for that second um, time to pick them up, you kind of sometimes lose them like I did or because they happened before too. Or they don't, they're not 
they're not in a row exactly all right let's try this again guys i'm gonna push really hard on there maybe wiggle it and lift up i don't know why these guys don't want to stick to it Okay, the straight line is bugging me. This little guy works perfectly. So I don't know what the deal is over there, but I'm, I'm kind of sick of messing with that one. So um, we're just going to do the little triangle, okay? Right, a little triangle on my fingernail. <sighs> the triangle's not bad. I really wanted the triangle anyway. I just didn't want to use it today. But okay, we're using it today. We are using it. And little gems seem to go right nicely in there. Well, maybe not. I did two seconds ago. Come on, guys. Nobody wants to sit there and watch this forever. Pop in there. Okay. Got most of them in there, so we're just going to take this little guy. We're going to artificially put somebody in there. There. We're good. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of brush these other guys. Man, I've got these crystals everywhere. Okay, just going on my finger. Okay, here we go. Oh, now my gel is shifting. <laughs> All right, I would suggest <laughs> that you do your little um, pickup thing here first. Oh, are you serious? It didn't want to pick up that last little guy. So I would suggest you do this part first. First, sorry about that. I think I was out of frame. Oh, anyways, um, so I would suggest you actually do this part first, set it aside. In fact, that's what I was thinking. I don't know why I stuck gel on my finger first. So now I think I'm just going to um, kind of smooth it out a little bit because it's probably all run to one side. So I'm going to try to get as much off this brush that I can, and. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. So now that's good. Of course, now I got a big glob of gel on my finger. All right. <laughs> Sorry, you're seeing all this. All right, all right. Got the big glob of gel off of my finger. All right, we're good to go now. Okay, so now supposedly <laughs> in the video, you just put it where you want it. And I'm hoping you can see this. So supposedly you're just going to stick it right in here. And the gems are going to stick to my fingernail. And all is going to be good with the world. <gasps> it did it. Oh, wow, that's pretty awesome. Okay. So for this little guy, let's get rid of him. Maybe it's because it's crooked. I'm going to get rid of one on the other side too. It's crooked. Ah! <laughs> I had to do it over. I'm back. Okay, so I have them on here. Now, if you don't get, if they're not like, if they're kind of like teetering crooked or whatever, you can just push them down on something just to straighten them out. And that will work as long as it's not something sticky so that it grabs them all off. All right. So I got everything off of this finger. So now we're going to go ahead with the fixing gel. See, suppose you're supposed to get your little crystals ready and then your fixing gel. I hope you guys don't hate me and have tuned out of this um, video right now. But I thought, you know, you might like to see exactly how it works. And instead of me, like, um, cutting out all the weird footage, you know, so I'll say, hey, that's what I did. And if you don't like it, let me know. And then I'll just cut it out and you'll think it's perfect. And whatever okay so now i'm just okay i'm gonna go at it with a different angle so that i can see it better but i still want you guys to see it so let's get you in nice and close hmm. 
that's really hard to do because you're looking down the long barrel and I think it would be way easier if it was short, a shorter one. Oh, I think I did it. Okay. okay, so it did say that if the design was too big for your finger that they would still be stuck on here, but they're not. They're all stuck on there. Um, now I'm going to go cure this. It's pretty thick stuff, so I'm going to cure it for a minute. And then I'm going to come back. Okay, now we got them on here. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put a little bit of the fixing gel on the tin foil. I don't think it said to do this. Um, it might be okay, but I don't know. I just don't want these things falling off. So um, you can either do that or you can add like top coat to the top of non Swarovski gems because it doesn't really matter. But you know, let's let's just let's just go for the difficult today, guys. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little drop of fixing gel with the dotting tool in between each stone. Oh, find that on my. Okay, well I'm not going to let you, I'm not going to make you painfully watch that, so I'm going to do that and come right back. Okay, so I went all around the stones. They're so they're nice and in there. So now I'm just going to take the fixing gel and do um, just a little bit of coat right here. Okay. Cure it for another minute. And then we'll come back. Okay, so now um, the last step is just to remove the tacky layer. And there you go. That's that's it. So hmm. I like it. Um, I picked, <laughs> I picked this color because I thought it would reflect more purple and it might just not in this light. Um, so if you're wondering why I, you know, have one blue fingernail, the intent was that it was going to pick up the purple shifts <laughs> a little bit more. Um, and it still might like outside, but I'm not outside right now. Okay, since I was having so much trouble with that long um, barrel looking through and getting it lined up properly, ha ha ha, <laughs> yeah, sure, that's the reason. Um, I did test it out in my MoU London, and it is a little bit loose in here, so it's it's slightly smaller, but I think I think it'll work out okay in here. So if you have the MoU London 3-in-1, which is really nice because those of us who want to look down a long barrel can still look down the long barrel of it. Um, the little end piece comes off so you don't have anything obstructing your view. I think maybe this is for people who want um, a longer handle. Personally, it, it doesn't matter the handle to me. It doesn't matter. I, I want to be close up and personal with my stamping so I can see what is going on. Oddly enough, I got this one like the first try. First try. Um, so I guess it just requires a teeny little bit of practice. Okay, so the last part um, would be just to take all your little crystals and... Um, Brush them. If there's any stuck in here, we'll just brush them off onto the tray. Come on, guys. Get off there. Hmm. Okay. Or just pick them up with your little pickup thingy. Why are they stuck in here? Oh, there we go. All right. So we got them in there. Then, um, obviously, you just... Brush them to one side and put them right back into your jar. Oops, some still fall out. 
but for the most part, we get right back in there. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, I hope I didn't scare you away and you will subscribe. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.